the Xavier Porter coming to you live. Brooklyn Price, I'm sitting here with one and all light heavyweight Mike Marshall, straight out of the Bronx. You know, we're we'll talking with him about his upcoming fight and his future career in the sport and what he wants to do and what he's looking forward to do and going further. So Mike, take it away. How you doing, man? Brooklyn Price, it's always a pleasure. All right. So what's going on with you? Uh, you know, what's going on with your next fight? Um, well, right now there's no opponent. You know, uh, the promoter didn't send a contract or anything, so I really don't know, but I'm just staying ready. Okay. All right. So um, let me ask you a question. So you want to know right now, right? Want to know one knocker. Okay. And where, where you ranking the like heavyweights or you ranking the cruiserweights? I'm ranked in the cruiserweight division right now because okay. my first fight was at 178. Well, 178, 180, so anything over 75 is cruising right. Okay. But uh, I fight officially like, like heavyweight. Okay. And uh, I'm ranked number 38 in the country. Okay, number 38. 212 in the world. Oh, 212 in the world, okay. Yeah. How long have you been training here on uh, Worldwide Gym? I've been training here for a little bit over uh, maybe a year now. Just getting it in up here in the Bronx, uh, okay. Jerome Avenue, the Bronx 205. You know, this is my neighborhood. My neighborhood is Burnside Avenue, okay. uh, Duff City, and all them cats. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, so I come up here and train and get right. How long you been boxing for? I've been boxing for about eight to ten years, man. I've been boxing ever since I was like 17, man. And I, you know, I, I've been always wanting to do it as a kid. I was very timid as a child. You know, I was real shy. I always wanted to do it. My mother said no. Mm -hmm. so, you know, I mean, after I graduated high school. I moved out, and uh, when I went to college, and when I was going to college, I was boxing, so mm -hmm. I was sick of serious. Okay. How does it feel to be training, you know, you sparring, doing a lot of sparring with Danny Jacobs, you know, helping him prepare for his Oh, man, fight. that was a blessing, man. Yeah. But Danny, me and Danny been, that's my boy, that's my road dog. Him and Kid Chocolate, me and Kid Chocolate and Danny are all friends. Yeah. I mean, I never, I haven't been together with them all in the same room, but we all cool, you know what I'm saying? And, um... You know, I knew Danny for a long time, a long, long time. I got Danny ready for his first title fight. That's my coach, Mark. I got ready for, I got him ready for my first title fight. My, um, I mean, his first title fight. All types of fights, man. Me, I've been knowing Danny for over, over almost a little over half a decade. You know what I'm saying? So it's cool. It's all love. Okay. Um, God, man, that was, that was good. Thank you. <laughs> so. Your next fight, you said, yeah. is, is the contract signed? Nah, there's no contract. The contract wasn't even emailed, nothing. Yeah. I was supposed to fight the 718. I believe Hank Lundy was the, um, the main event. Okay. And um, yeah, um, there's no contract, nothing. So, you know, I mean, things like that happen in this sport, you know what I'm saying? Being that I fought close to the end of the year anyway, I'm not mad, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But I'm just going to continue to train, continue to do Okay. So basically, in the meantime, you're going to stay busy, you're going to keep training, working hard? Absolutely. That's all I do. Train, yeah. train, train. That's it. Right. Getting better at my craft. Uh -huh. I take my time when I do it right. That's it. And who you promoted by? I, I, I don't have a promoter right now. Okay. Right now, I'm just freelancing. Okay. I, was, I was supposed to fight a uh, two-fight two contract with CES, okay. but being at the fight never... Um, Took what? Right. So okay. if I was to win that fight, well, I was going to win that fight. If I was going <laughs> to win that fight. I was going to fight two more fights with CES and possibly, but um, you know, Jimmy Burstill, all great people, they all took care of me while I was up there, it's just that the opponents never Okay. Is there anything you want to say to your fans out there, or your oh, future man, opponents? Um, <laughs> my future opponents too. Yeah. To my fans, thank you um, for continuing and, you know, keep me going, everybody, BrooklynFights.com and everybody, and um, I'm, I'm in the gym, man. I'm here, man. Everybody commenting on the internet talking about, oh, Mike and me. You go, you can spar, man. We can go, we can go 100 rounds, man. We can go as much as you want, man. You hear everybody saying, oh, good work, Mike. Yeah. That's all I put in, good work. Right. At the end of the day. But uh, to my future opponents, man, come on, man. Let's make this money. Yeah. Come on, stop. Stop playing around. Let's make this money. Right. You know what I'm saying? Sign the contract. Let's do the right thing. That's all I'm going to say to my future opponents. Do the right thing. All right. Xavier Porter coming to you live from the Worldwide Boxing Gym with Mike Marshall. I've become a light heavyweight. We wish you luck with his future. We're going to continue to support him and continue to follow him. Yes, sir. All right.